If you've owned the Phantom 2 Vision Plus, and indeed if you've owned a P3 uh, Advanced or Pro, you will know that the weakest part of this camera setup is actually this part here. In the event of a crash, this can actually come forward and separate from the rear and rip your ribbon cable, resulting in obviously a non-functioning camera. So there's a couple of things you can fit, uh, and we call them gimbal savers. Now there's a metal one which sits removes this plate, you put the other plate on it, it wraps around there and there is this one uh, this was £3 off eBay and I'm hoping it's going to work uh, I mean I'm hoping I never have a crash to find out but in the unlikely event that something does go wrong uh, I've got something at least to protect me. Now to put this on you need to first of all wiggle it across like that now you pull this little bit apart and you feed it around the back now you'll hear the first click is that side where my thumb goes in and then this one goes around the back and locks in again so it then forms itself around. I'll just spin the quad around so you can see it's now sat there and it's sat there and if you look underneath you'll see it sits across but it leaves a gap. Now I'll just take the lens cover off and I'll show you oh, take the lens cover off. As you can see the camera can easily rotate around itself and it doesn't restrict the movement in any way shape or form so in the unlikely event like I said that it does have a heavy landing this piece now has got nowhere to go because it's fixed by this uh, piece of plastic um, 3d printed plastic three pound of eBay you know I may never ever crash but I like to prepare for every eventuality hence the fact I have the the gimbal guard here uh, to stop uh, tall grass or if it comes down in you know in tall grass or anything that's sort of underneath it will at least give the camera some kind of protection. Now, once you put them on, I wouldn't recommend you sort of mess around too much with it because I took it off uh, to show you guys how it goes on and I ended up ripping one of the little white rubbers there. Uh, lesson learned. Don't apply too much twist when you put it on. If you're not quite sure, don't force it. I put mine on the radiator just to soften it slightly first of all to give it a little bit of flex in it because it was quite cold uh, when it turned up today. It was about one degree outside, and it's been in the postman's bag, so it was cold. So yeah, fitting a gimbal saver uh, will hopefully, at some point, save your gimbal. Another short video. Thanks very much for watching. Safe flying, and as always, I'll see you soon.